Today, that is 27th of May, India is hosting the world's largest drone festival in New Delhi. Prime Minister will inaugurate the festival and he has shared his confidence in the young talents of India and India's rising capability in the drone sector. And this is the story of the day. Hello and welcome to Edura Insights. Today, we will be discussing the evolution of drone sector in India. We know or we have seen the drones or the UAVs that is the unmanned aerial vehicles. Now the UAVs are aircraft with no onboard crew. The drones can range from remotely piloted to fully automated. To calculate its movement, it relies on a system of sensors and lidar that is the light detection and ranging detectors. It can fly at a control level of height and speed for a long period of time. Now talking about its usage. Drones have a role in many aspects of aviation ranging from monitoring climate change to carrying out post disaster search operations, filming, communication special in the remote areas, right? But an eminent use by the military is the most well known operation of a drone. And drones were first massively deployed in the Vietnam War and then it began to be used in a range of new roles such as acting as decoys decoys that is to deceive the enemy in the combat and launching missiles now as the world moves into a new drone regime let us understand about the history of drones in india now back in the 1990s the indian army acquired drones from israel and then the indian air force and navy followed the suit india first used military drones during the 1999 kargil war against pakistan for photo reconnaissance that is the exploration or investigation along the line of control now as the drones provided ineffective in the war because of the strategically weak drone system the state run defense research and development organization that is drdo and several other private companies started creating drones and developing the technologies in india the use of all that is the man and the automated aerial vehicles are governed by the directorate general of civil aviation which is known by the acronym of dgc now though the drones were originally developed for the military and the aerospace industries the drones now have found their way into the mainstream because of the enhanced levels of safety and efficiency they bring recently the ministry of civil aviation has approved a pilot project with the Telangana government to assess alternative logistics routes in providing safe, accurate and reliable pickup and delivery of healthcare items in remote areas through drones. Now similar permission was granted to deploy drones for the agriculture research activities. Kisan drones are being used for crop assessments, land records and spraying of insecticides and nutrients. It will also pave new ways for farmers to transport their produce like fruits vegetables and flowers to markets in a minimal time thus boosting their income now talking about the drone rules drafted in the year 2021 now this is a much more liberalized regime for drones it is expected to ease out drone ownership and operation for the civilian drone operators in india the most significant change under the rule is that the most popular devices in this segment are likely to be classified as micro and nano drones for which the users will no longer need a remote pilot's license now talking about the market for drones now according to a report the indian uav market is poised to grow at 18% during the 2017 2023 in terms of revenue now to further the development of drones in india the union government has taken a serious paradigm shift by announcing drone shakti in the budget 2020 so getting a sense of the rising profile of the drone sector in india there's a huge untapped potential which india can tap into and be a leader in the growing drones market across the globe and this is all we have for you today for more updates stay tuned at edura